Oh lordy. Mm. What we looking at today? Okay, well we got a transmission filter, some motor flush, oil filter, AMS oil ATF. Ooh. 10W40 premium motor oil from AMS oil. So we we got a little bit a little little TLC day today for the Com Daddy. A little tune up. Okay, okay. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all having another good day, man. The sun is out because that wasn't the case this morning. It was raining. I didn't even think I was going to be able to film today. And then 12 o'clock came, noon came, and just, just clear skies. It, it looks as if it didn't even rain. So, I don't know. Falls in the air. Um, but yeah, we're back. So, more content, you guys. So, if you did not watch last video where I announced that the truck is for sale, which it still is. She's still here. Uh, the truck, yep, the truck still is for sale. I highly encourage you to check out the last video. I'll have a card up here so you can click on that. That way you can check out the last video basically just saying the truck's for sale. So, what I figured today is this might be one of the last times I do like like a nice little inform informational video for these trucks or for the third gen uh, on the channel. So I was like, well, hell, let me film it. So what we're doing today is we're going to be doing an oil change, and we're also going to be doing a transmission fluid swap, okay? Uh, all I'm doing is just draining the oil or the fluid out of the transmission, drop the pan, change the filters, reseal the pan, put it on. Easy day, okay? Uh, so that's all we got going on right now. A um, couple things to answer from last video when I announced the trucks for sale. One, you guys, I'm not going nowhere. I'm still going to make YouTube videos. Yes, I'm getting another diesel. Like, I'm not getting out the diesel game, okay? I will still be bringing videos to the channel like such and such. Nothing is going to change. I put money on it. You guys have my word, okay? The next vehicle, next truck, will be a diesel truck on the channel, okay? So have no fear. Cameron is here, all right? Uh, that's one. Number two, uh, let's see. How do I say this? Anybody who did comment about my transmission on this truck, um, I don't know, get bent, basically. Uh, if, if you are the type of person where you're, and you guys know me, you, my, my real subscribers, y'all know me very rarely, or if ever do I comment on what people say in my videos or give feedback on, on my opinion. Okay. This is my channel. So I can say whatever I want on it. Uh, anybody who's saying, well, he's only selling it because it has 200,000 miles on it, or he, the trans is due to get replaced soon. All right. Here's the thing. Why would you spend eight thousand to ten thousand dollars getting a transmission fixed if there's nothing wrong with the transmission you currently have? I mean, I don't know about y'all. I'm not no rich motherfucker. I'm just a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? I hustle on the side and everything. I got a side business and everything. Um, why would I spend eight G's to get a transmission put in the truck if there's nothing wrong with this one? I, I, it just don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? So. uh for all those people out there saying that the trans is down, but bound to go out and all this crap, you're dumb. Like, it's stupid. You can point and say every little thing wrong with the 68 RFE, just like you can say with any vehicle, any transmission, anything like that. But at the end of the day, why would you spend that money if you don't have to? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's nothing wrong with my transmission. It drives fine. It pulls excellent. No slippage. No overdrives. Everything's good. Like, why would I spend the money there? But, oh, wait. Maybe it's because I actually know how my transmission works or how these transmissions work. I take care of my truck. I don't have the old school concept. It's a diesel. I can beat the shit out of it and never do maintenance or I can floor it and do four by four launches and it's going to be hunky dory. So maybe it's a, due to a lack of ignorance. People would say that, but at the end of the day, I know what I got in my truck and I'll ride or die with my truck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not desperate to sell this truck. I don't have to sell this truck. If nobody wants to buy this truck, guess what? I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna keep it straight up because I have no true pressing reason to be like, I gotta get rid of the truck. If no one wants it, then I'm gonna just keep it. And we just gonna, y'all just gonna keep seeing this truck on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's just, you know, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, starting to get a little pump off that, but no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. Another side note too, you guys. Uh, today's my birthday. Turned 29 years old. Gotta find my drink. <clears throat> so I'm out here chilling. Uh, but yeah, man. So I got my drink. Little Pepsi and Maker Mark. So we, let's get this video started. First thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, put this down real quick. We're gonna do the AMS oil flush. We're gonna do the engine oil flush, the, uh, in, the oil change first, just because it's quick, it's easy. Uh, transmission one to take just a little bit longer. First thing we're gonna do, pour this bad Larry into the engine oil, run it for 15 minutes, drain it, close her up, fill her with some fresh oil. Let's get to it. All right, 
let's go ahead and uh, let's get this inside. Amsoil says pour it in and let it run for 15 minutes. Oh god. Oh, let me get my towel. Alright, so the purpose of the Amsoil flush is the engine and transmission flush, so you can pour it in both. And it basically cleans the engine prior to adding new oil. So here it says that it's supposed to loosen sticky valves and rings, uh, clean clutches, quiet lifter noise, safely clean seals, reduce oil consumption. My truck has like none of those issues, but it's still good to do. This current oil change has about, uh, I think about... 12 uh, no about eleven and a half thousand miles on it uh this is definitely one of the more further oils i ran oil uh, changes i ran on the truck usually i do around ten thousand eighty five hundred miles uh change the oil so i was road tripping down to florida atlanta stuff like that so definitely good stuff though so we're gonna go ahead and crank her up let her run 15 minutes and i'll get back with y'all go ahead and hit that remote start what y'all know about that Crank her up. Oh yeah. It comes in handy during the uh, winter. Yes sir. And this is my favorite part of the oil change because I have the Geno's Garage drain plug which makes oil changes super clean. So I just take the cap off. And then I just open her up. And she drains out just like that. On these third gens, my favorite and most easiest way I found to get to the oil filter is through the wheel well liner. Take it out with a couple screws. And then your filter's right there. And I just get a filter wrench. Take her off and then I go in and put it, the new one in. Uh... I know they sell tools, you know, Gino sells a tool and all that stuff, but I mean, this gets it done. It takes 30 seconds to, I don't know if y'all even heard that, <laughs> the oil just farted draining. Uh, it takes like 30 seconds for that to come off, so I figured I'd show y'all. Alright, so we got the new oil filter in, Amsoil oil filter, good for 25,000 miles, synthetic. By the way, you guys, I forgot to mention, if you want some Amsoil products at a discount price, use mentioning me or using my code uh, down below. In the description, you can reach out to my Amsoil dealer, Adrian. He will get you set up with all the Amsoil goods you need. Uh, this exact kit, all that good stuff. So we got the oil filter on for the first time ever. First time ever. I, I messed up. I spilled oil out of the oil filter when I was taking it off. Never done that before. Look at that. I spilled it. I, tilt, I tilted the, the, the filter to the side a little too much when I was taking it down. Just because the angle I was coming at. Never did that before, but uh, yeah, so we got the filter on, oil plug's good, always make sure that's on, can't see it, but it's there, so now we're going to go ahead and start topping her off with some oil. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add the oil, so we got some AMS oil, uh, premium motor protection motor oil, this is an OG AMS oil, oil I wanted to try out from uh, my boy Adrian, he put me on to this, alright, this is 10W40, obviously Cummins recommends 15W40, I run that normally, 10W40 is in the middle. Uh, the last oil change I had, I ran Amsoil Signature Series 15W40, and I mean, it, it did good. I had no issues, so. <laughs> um, but this one here, based off what he was telling me what I was reading, uh, this is formulated for more of your old school uh, diesels and gasoline cars. So your old school flat tappet cams, high performance, heavy duty um, vehicles, motors with higher mileage on it. Uh, apparently, this is really good for your rings. It's boosted, has a ton 
a ton of zinc in it which is needed for these older or more high higher mileage vehicles so we're gonna be trying this one out today uh, they don't advertise it on their website uh, if you was to search for diesel oil but on the bottle it even says that it, it'll work for diesel oil all right I know you guys probably can't see it but it says it on there trust me all right so we're gonna go ahead and add some this in there and uh, call it a day All right, so we got the oil in now. So I was gonna make this a one-part video, but I think uh -oh, lost my grip. But I think I'm going to make this a two-part, just because I don't want it to be long. And the sun's already setting on me, and I haven't even drained the transmission yet. So I know I'll be out here for at least another hour minimum. So we'll go ahead, crank her up real quick. Watch that oil pressure jump up. You know, it ain't an oil change unless you uh. Unless you check, you know, get that oil pressure. Just. And there she goes. Ooh, brand new oil, baby. Yes, sir. AC, no, it feels good. Got the edge up here. Still going strong. I love that thing right there, man. I'm telling y'all. If you ain't got a monitor, you're doing yourself an injustice on a diesel truck, man. Uh, especially on the older ones like this, because, you know, on these trucks, you don't get the luxury of having all the fancy stuff like the newer trucks do. But, uh, and even then, still, you still got to flip, uh, you know, scroll through and look at each individual one here. You get a full snapshot. So, highly recommend that. Or some gauges, but the edge is where it's at, man. I mean, look at my fuel pressure, fuel raw pressure looking good battery bolts 14 looking good intake air temp coolant trans temp that's the that's my that's the one I always keep an eye on man I tell you what you know people the first sign usually of a transmission going out is uh, overheating you know what I'm saying the, the, the fluids toast you know if you start your truck up and you start driving it with no load on it five minutes into uh, driving and it's already at 190 degrees and it's like 80 degrees outside probably got something going on with the transmission you know what I'm saying but uh yeah good day good day man well you guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up now uh again this is just a part one so i'm i changed my mind last minute we're gonna go ahead and turn it into a part two a, a part one and part two video um trying to think so part one oil change part two will be the trans one uh i will be dropping the trans pan or the deep dish pan so if you guys want to see what it looks like underneath a 68 rfe uh, I can kind of point out some things to look for. There's not a whole lot underneath there, but a couple things though I'll point out in the video. Uh, definitely stick around for tomorrow's video. Uh, but until then, thank you guys for checking out the channel. Again, if you need Amsoil products, if you want the plug for some Amsoil good stuff, man, I'm telling y'all, hit my boy Adrian up. His info is down below in the video description. He has a website where you can actually get on there and just order your stuff. Um, and yeah, that's it. So until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. Be safe. Peace out. God bless. All that good stuff. I'll see you guys soon.